Pokemon Battle. So, I'm playing a guy called Jug 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 Jug, and he's a mod on AA, and he was dying about me because I'm so beast and shit, so I, it's like, uh, you know, throw the dog a bone. So he leads with the Dragonite, and I lead with my lead Metagross, and I've actually been using my Scarf Metagross as a lead for ages, just accidentally. And the second I change it, and my Scarf Metagross has Ice Punch, I get a Dragonite lead against me. So he FBs, I ice put, I meet you mesh, does a shitload. I predicted the um, E speed there, but he goes for an earthquake, so that works just as good. So Gengar's in, and I go for a Thunderbolt. Um, I don't know why. I should have gone for a Shadow Ball. So then I switch into my Slow King, because even though he's a special wall, he's going to tank the pert like a man and a half. So that Warfall does fuck all, because, you know, I'm badass. So then I'm going to go for a T-Wave on the switch. Because I'm that good I knew he was going to switch. And then I'm pretty sure I just killed the Dragonite with a Surf. We'll see now. And now I've pretty much gained like all my lefties back from the um, damage the Pert dealt me. So Surf kills him and... Fuck yeah, I'm badass. So, Fat Dragon goes down. That is a bad name for a Pokemon. That is not funny. But good try, Jug 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 Jug. So, he, oh yeah, by the way, he also brought like a random team and it accidentally broke Species Claws. So he has a second Dragonite. And goes for a Draco Meteor and I like, Death Fodder my Metagross. So that is pretty cash. And I can't remember what I do next. I'm excited to find out though. Another moment. Oh, Man Slash. He's so beast. It fucking hurts. See, I'll probably get SR up now. Yeah, I do. And I'm going to have to get the fuck out when the perk comes in. And I'm kind of hoping, since it wasn't a lead, it's not got SR itself. And he's going to have to keep on waterfalling, and it's going to do fuck all to my slow king. And here I predict the stay in, because he thinks the T-Wave's coming, so I'm going to grass knot, and it's going to be fucking awesome, and the perk's going to die. And he stays in, and goes for an earthquake, and it's going to be a two-hit KO, but I don't care, because I think the grass knot's going to kill. So I go for the grass knot. And he's going to live, I will tell you now. And it's not even a small live, he fucking shits all over that live. So that was fucking dog shit, and I can't live another earthquake, so... Fuck my life. So I switch out, go into Mike, predicting the earthquake. And he goes for the waterfall, that was a delicious play on his part. If I'd stayed in, I could have fucked the part up good. And not have, like, crippled my Gengar. So, that was retarded on my part. Too much predicting. So I just blow up now because I can't touch this perfect shit. So that was okay. I can live with that. We can dig this shit right now. It's still looking gravy for me. I hope you're all rooted for me because I need it. So I would go into my banded T-Tar. He goes into his Dragonite. Now, I don't know if you know about Dragonites, but they cannot take banded stone edges. So I'm just going to go for the banded stone edge and that is obviously going to take it out. He's going to go for an Earthquake, but I'm going to live it. And the Banded Stone Edge is obviously going to take it out. So, that's going to be good for me, right? <coughs> it missed. The Stone Edge missed. And the Earthquake's a 2 hit KO. So I lose my Banded t tough for nothing. Absolutely nothing. And he's still got a Dragonite. So, that was big. Big, big fucking big. So like, you know, that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life, so I'm just going to go into Sandslash now and get killed by that Drake and me, or probably, I can't remember. I can't see myself living it, to be honest. And Sandslash is a god, and he goes for the Stone Edge here, and that'll probably take him out. So... No, it doesn't take him out. Wonderful. I think the sandstorm and the life orb will finish him off, though. So we'll have a double down. I like that phrase, and I'm going to start using it more often. Double down. Call it a DD, but then there's too many things called DD already. So he goes for an EQ, takes me out. He dies. Double down, right? So now, since my tea tile's gone, I need to really play this one out, or I'm going to get fucking digged on. So I go to my bitch pop. And he goes into his Gallade, and I'm like, after a reflect, I'm going to live things like a man. So I go for a reflect on my Raikou, and he goes for a Psycho Cut, 
And using a life orb Raikou in Sandstorm is not a good idea, by the way, guys. Does not work. So let us like shit all and I can actually live one, so the plan is calm mind up, take one more, then kill with Thunderbolt. So let's see how this goes out for me. He goes for a Psycho Cut. That's not gonna kill. And I've only got so many hits left in me because of Sandstorm and Life Orb. Probably one hit maybe if I'm lucky. So I go for a T-Ball on the switch. He goes into a fortress. There's death fodder. He told me that. And it was a good plan on his part. Because my Raikou's going to die after Life Orb and Sandstorm. And after this I think I have a... Uh, Slow King left. And his last is a Magna Zone. So I'm going to lose. I'd like to think I'd have won if my Stone Age didn't miss. But that doesn't matter. I lost again. To the guy named Jug 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 Jug. Fuck my life. But no, but seriously, good game, Jug. Even though you have a retarded name, you still did well here. Well done. Oh, I finished too early. Now I have to talk until it just sort of cuts me off a little.